Apologies to everyone in advance if this video happens to suck compared to the others. I'm actually out of the weather right now. Rod's been killing me these past couple days, as you can probably hear. It feels really itchy and it's quite uncomfortable. But anyway, a couple things I want to get out of the way. I do see your guys' comments. And yes, I'm still taking deck suggestions. Rest assured, I'll be getting to a couple of them. Right now, I'm doing a deck that I've been wanting to try out again for a little while. Especially now that we have that new healing skill. Or rather, three new healing skills, anyway. And I'm using it on everyone. I'm not going with an O1 figure this time. So I'm using... The slower versions of each figure for each one of these guys I'm prioritizing survivability because as you can no doubt tell defense isn't the greatest it'll somewhat make up for that with defense up second and Super Saiyan 4 Goku it's kind of a requirement each one of these guys gets a huge attack buff to themselves and even to allies so that's why I'm not putting anything like attack up second, ADM up second on. And I have ultimate gauge down every turn on everyone, just in case, for obvious reasons. In case I run into an O1 one unit that I'm not going to be able to handle too comfortably. Let's get right into the showcase, though. You might as well call it a showcase. Because I don't think I've um, showed off yet the second Super Saiyan 4 Goku. The first one is just infinitely the best one. Having the opponents attacked lower by 10% each turn and then adding 10% to himself is just so huge. And what I'm also going to be doing in the future is another similar video on Vegeta Team 2.0 because now we actually have all good you are Vegeta's that can go all across the board. And I won't even have to worry about the really crappy first Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta we got because, let's be honest, that figure is just all around terrible. I would even argue it's probably the worst you are in the whole game. He, has, he gets all that attack by himself. The, the big issue is, I think he has to be like by himself. That's, that's one issue. Uh, if I'm mistaken, then either way it just sucks because at that point he gets all that attack, which is okay But then the speed and defense both become non-existent and that's again pretty huge Even if you're running up defense up second, I don't think it would help them all too much really So I'm probably not gonna be using it when I get to doing that video I have a couple of suggestions, one involving a MSC Goku figure, so don't worry, I will be getting you with that very soon. I have to go back and look at my comments, which has just been really busy and really nutty lately, so I apologize that I can't recall some of your names at the time. I don't remember if it was Joshua or Vegeta Ultra Instinct who left a suggestion involving MSC Goku. I gotta go back and look. Hopefully, I'm not getting either the virus or getting strep, because both equally suck. Of course, one's more deadly than the other. But hopefully, I'll be on right after I go to bed here when I get done recording. And then that'll be that. The idea with this deck mostly is to stick on both... Well, I should say all three. Goku, Enzy Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Goku as much as I possibly can because everyone is getting a lot of attack and a lot of defense and I know it kind of sucks that I also have the original Ultra Instinct Goku so I have to build him up he's on here as somewhat of a failsafe in case I need to get rid of the opponent's ultimate sh should that ever come up like that is very invaluable to have in my opinion and even then, if anything happens to anyone on the field here, I can always just put UI Goku out and go from there. And I know I said I was gonna just attempt 
use that same deck I was using in the previous video with Auto Suisse, Ranger 17, Trunks, and um, Few. I know I said initially I was going to keep doing that until I got the result I wanted, but I decided to just move on. Because after that video, I did a bunch of playtesting to see if I could pull it off. And either the opponent, the opponent's master HP either dies by then, or they lose all their figures. So it's just like, why even bother to continue trying if that's pretty much all that's going to happen? It's like trying to catch a glimpse of a, of a blue moon. It's very, very rare that it's ever going to happen. So I figured, again, just it's time to move on. And something I did not even consider until I watched another vid uploaded by Rock and Robo. So I said the new Gogeta EX Lamp Broken figure was the best new O1 user in the game. And that is actually false. Because here's something you have to keep in mind also. He has that utility of surviving on one HP. Let's say that both masters are pretty dang healthy. And both Gogeta and Janemba have their ult off. They both get put on the field. Yes. Um, Gogeta's probably gonna go first. But it won't matter, especially if Janemba still has all of his HP. And you shouldn't even be putting Janemba on the field that much if you're gonna be using him as an O1 figure. It's really dangerous to put your figure on the field at all. Unless you're just trying to get the ultimate off. Of course, I'm referring to just using the one figure in general, but... I'm also just going through a couple of the new free battles. I just realized I skipped ahead a bit and I went to Janemba. So... Sorry about that. I don't remember where my spot was last left off. I think it was on, um... Did I finish these? I want to say I finished all these. And now I just did Pycon. No, I'm sorry, not Pycon. I did Janemba. Okay, so this tells me right here that that was the last update. I need to go back and look. I'm pretty sure I already did this one with Barok. Uh, let's see. I don't, I don't think I did this one with Ribrianne yet. Again, maybe. I'm not too sure. I'll probably go back and look. It, just for the sake of making it easier on myself, I might just... Just leave this vid in, and then get back to doing the six star free battles when I have time to. I'm also just trying to get, like, um, another video out so I can go to bed real soon, because, again, I'm not really feeling too well. Let's actually just do another Janemba fight here. Actually, really quick, I want to see if he's further down at all. I don't think he is. I want to say that's the only one here. Yeah, it is the only one here. I'm sorry for wasting your folks' time. Going back to Janemba. And then I'll probably call it there. Thankfully, I don't really have a runny nose at all. It's mostly just my throat that's killing me. I'm also feeling a little bit lightheaded and pretty tired. Very often recently. Also, if the picture looks like it's coming in more clear, it's because my stupid self didn't realize until just now that the resolution I was running was not as clear as the one I've got that is the default for my new second monitor here. I think it was 1980 by 1080. I want to say that was it. I have to go back out and look up. I'll look after we're done here. But if you have a really good, or at least a decent uh, PC monitor, that's the resolution I'd recommend using, provided it can also handle it. It just looks a lot more clean, a lot less jaggy. And I've already mentioned this a few times, this game has terrible, terrible anti-aliasing. It's really annoying and distracting sometimes, but... While it's in motion, it's not really too bad. Still, I wish that they um, optimized the game properly so it wasn't so distracting 
And that right there is why I have the healing skill on everyone. Because I'm aware, none of these are very overpowered. Well, except except the Nemesis Ego, because Pace and I suppose you could even argue the second Super Saiyan 4 Goku is not bad. But other than that is Ego, who really, not a whole lot of top tier defensive figures in the stock at all. It's mostly all attack based and attack boost based. Plus it's all up second, so that's one playing it safe. And I'm really happy that we got the FHP cure, FHP 50 um, large, because that is really helpful. Especially in a figure like a bunch of these where they're just continuously adding attack you don't really have to worry too much about attack up and adm up second you can just focus on putting on defense up second get the cure on and whatever else you could put you know ultimate gauge down every turn which by the way when i was going over all the best figures and skills to use in the game i did forget to cover ultimate gauge up turn four and five those are very big character skills as well that I recommend using. Those are like must use. If you want to have at least somewhat of a shot at getting your ultimate during your um PvP matches. With AI, it's really a non issue. I just realized, am I taking two figures to my master? Okay, then I'm not. That could have been very bad. I should not have let myself get that low. I was actually initially planning on running a three like a uh, three column setup. For whatever reason though, I forgot. And again, I'm very, very sleepy, so that might have something to do with it. This new monitor really is nice though. Uh, if anyone is looking for a really decent 2K gaming monitor, I recommend getting the Asus. I think it was VG280. It's really kick-ass. It's a great one. I'm mainly using it as my second monitor for watching videos whenever I'm doing gaming or uh, doing whatever else. Just to, like, have something to watch and something to, like, um, enjoy while I'm doing... Uh, brainstorming, coming up with ideas for vids, or uh, if I'm working on anything. Like, I've been working on a bunch of my saves recently. Uh, going through all my partners, because I changed quite a few things about them recently. And I still haven't done a video on all my partners yet. I'm gonna do that fairly soon here. I just lost. Alright, well, that extended the video by a little bit more. I apologize for being so derp there. Now, let's try this again. I'm actually going to start with a three column setup, so don't freaking forget this time. So let's get UI Goku out here. I'm going to just start building up defense for right now. And that is one great thing I will give the second Super Saiyan 4 Goku. He's adding attack and defense to all of his allies. That's a very huge benefit in my opinion. It's also really nice, especially, I think, with UI Goku, the HP one. Because UI Goku is just a monster all around. He's going to keep getting ridiculous amounts of attack. He's going to get plenty of defense with this current setup. Just keep stacking on the defense with Super Saiyan 4 Goku and then the Z Goku. All of the Goku. Obviously, the only ones I'm missing in this deck are any of the Super Saiyan variants. I just think these are, like, so much better, though. Or at least work well enough together. And I honestly think that the other Super Saiyan 4 Goku, um, the second one, I think he's a little bit better. But he has way too much speed, so I just thought that off for this one. At least this one also has a bunch more HP, so it's going to be able to make some real good use. 
of the healing character skill as well. This is what did me in before. I forgot, this one actually locks you in place. I wanna say it's a random, random opponent. That is how freaking beefy MZ Goku is though. He already has, you know, all that defense. He's getting decent attack. And he hasn't even used his healing character skill yet. Very nice. And hopefully I do not lose you I Goku here, although I think I unfortunately will. Yeah, that blows. I didn't plan ahead for that. That's okay though. Everyone that has ultimate gauge jump down every turn. I don't see why the opponent would get an ultimate at all. I have to have really shit luck for that to happen. I'm actually kind of okay with losing... Well, actually, no, I'm not really okay with losing figures at all, but... It's really not that big a deal. For me, at least, because... Yeah, he's gone, but... Again... No one skills. There's really not that much danger here at all. And now, and Zigoku is not only getting more beefy, he's also getting a bunch more attack now that um, Godku's out here. I think I also made the right move for early on, just putting three column setup because. As, as good as this team is all around, it's not the fastest, and it does not hit the hardest. It hits decent, does not hit the hardest, and it's not the most defensive either. That's why I think it's so important to just go over, like, all the, the broken top-tier figure potent skills in the game. Uh, you want them to either excel in attack or defense most of the time, I feel like. And in my opinion, the best ones to use are the, for like, SEC teams. Yeah, you know, let's get out of Zigoku down here. Surprising, he still hasn't used the ceiling skill. Sucks that blue um, Godku here isn't going to be able to fully utilize it for the square. He's just going to be buffing up on his Goku, but that's okay. Match is pretty much over anyway. I'm going to think of it. I should, probably should have held off on um, using Super Saiyan for Goku, at least for a little bit. And just put blue Go Goku out there with him for a little while. That's alright, though. Yeah, they are not the most tanky at all. I would not recommend using this team online because you're gonna get your ass handed to you, I think. Janembo also has more of an impressive deck than I gave him credit for for this free battle because. I've never struggled this much with this before. This is ridiculous. Take a shot for every time I just said this. You'll be fucking annihilated. Again, I'm sorry for the crap speaking on my part. <laughs> Again, I'm not feeling well. Oh, I need to go to bed. I go first. That's fine. Just done the battle here. That was really embarrassing. I took far longer with this fight than I had any right to. Alright, we're nearly 20 minutes, and I think that's as good a time as any to call the bed. I apologize for how crappy I sounded in this one. I thank y'all for stopping by anyway. And look forward to a, another challenge event in the f near future. See you guys later. I'm gonna go sleep now. Peace. <laughs>